As on most weekends, Ryan Spencer is packing for a trip. We do about 36 weekends a year. You could call it a mission trip. I work out of a trailer and we go all over the state. It's a unique office, but I really love it. Ryan travels to win converts, but his mission is not a religious one. You might say he's an outdoor evangelist. I go from park to park and show people how to go camping for the first time. I'm an outdoor education specialist at Texas Parks and Wildlife, and uh, I specialize in getting people outside and uh, connecting them with nature. Today, Ryan is at Blanco State Park. Thank you all for coming out. Introducing some families to camping on behalf of the Texas Outdoor Family Program. Studies have shown that children who spend time outside are healthier, happier, and stronger, that they do better in school, and they have better family cohesion. So that means that children who spend more time with their parents outside become nicer teenagers when they grow up. So they're all good reasons, but we're going to try to make it easy for you. We're going to go through each item. We teach about Leave No Trace and how to protect the environment when you're out there enjoying it. We want to give them some skills that they can repeat on their own when they come back to the state park. So things like cooking on a camp stove, setting up a tent. We'll just unfold this thing like so. We've got a series of aluminum poles. And we'll just lay it through there. Watching carefully are Karenia Holloway, her mother Karen, and friend Isaiah. The Holloways have only camped once before. The first camping trip I did was back in December, and that was all new for me. And, and we had a blast, and I really enjoyed it. My daughter's kind of a natural at it. She just likes, you know, being outdoors, which draws me in. And we're enjoying today. I was talking to Karenia, and she asked me if I wanted to go. And, you know, my initial reaction was no. He didn't want to go camping. If something crawled on him, he was out. I, I like being inside with the AC, but you know, getting out here now, it, it, it just, it feels good. We need one more. Young neighbor Calvin has also been invited along, and he's pretty excited to spend his first night in the outdoors. Go, 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 go. He's been very excited today. Just really hard to keep him still. Setting up the tent, I mean, he's just jumped right in there. You need help? When he first pulled out all the stuff, it was a little intimidating. Oh, it's there. It wasn't that difficult. Perfect. Yep. You, you're not alone. You know, you can do this. Just, and if you need help, ask for help. There you go. We got the strongest man on the job, though. <laughs> <laughs> this actually gives you a time to come together and just talk to one another and just experience life together. And so that's something that we don't always get the opportunity to do. Other campers are here for similar reasons. We thought this would be a great way to kind of get the kids outside of the house, uh, away from the technology, the iPads, uh, television, and realizing being outdoors, having some fun outside can be a great way to spend the weekend. Kind of like a trade. A little uh, technology can help the transition. Do you know what GPS stands for? Does anybody know? know There's two spheres of thought. One is that we pluck kids away from technology completely. And the other is that we kind of ease them into it. I'm kind of a fan of the latter. What we do is what we call a modern day treasure hunt. Geocaching, for example. There's a bunch of satellites up in the sky to actually relay your exact location and coordinates onto this thing. This one goes north. Technology may tend to keep us indoors, but geocaching combines gadgets with outdoor exploration. So you're close. It says what? Four feet. Ah, oh, they already found it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I liked going around and finding stuff with the GPS. It's right in this area. Calvin really enjoyed the geocaching and just even seeing what's out here was really nice. He was on the hunt for something. <laughs> it has to be one of these plants. Oh! You found it! Everyone loves a treasure hunt. Where'd it go? Regardless of the treasure itself. What is it? I don't know, it's a piece of paper. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We spent a nice chunk of time locating a couple of things, and the kids enjoyed finding a little treasure. By afternoon, the cool Blanco River is calling. Yippee, do, sir. And there's another way to enjoy the water. Kayak. Paddling a kayak is a new experience for Calvin. Excited? Yes, sir. Can I get a high five? <laughs> Right. At first, he didn't want to do it, but after we got in the boat, smooth sailing, you know, he was all for it. Yeah, Calvin, that's good. Going up the river, <laughs> down the river, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, 
Uh oh. We were out one direction, then we were out another direction, and finally my daughter said, Mom, just put your paddle down, just sit, relax. I really like being in the water because it's really serene, it's kind of peaceful, but it's hard to kind of steer. I tried. <laughs> they ran into us. Well, I don't know if you saw that collision. <laughs> but after that, it was pretty good. It was just something I had never done before, so maybe if I do it a few more times, maybe it will finally get through to my brain what to do exactly. <laughs> but I had fun. Never done kayaking before. This was the first time. Uh, so it's a little bit hesitant. I don't know if he was going to like it or not. And uh, he enjoyed it. And there are more firsts for the Folgar family, who hail from a place where camping doesn't come naturally. From New York City. The closest I've been to camping was uh, in 2004. We had a blackout. <laughs> but the lack of experience doesn't keep Aiden from catching his first fish. First one ever. It's a pretty cool fish, Aiden. Yeah. Pretty awesome. <laughs> of course, a fish is not guaranteed for every family. What am I doing wrong? But some guidance is always available. <laughs> We're going to go one direction. That was something completely like new for me, yeah. going out there and really trying to work at it casting it. You make it look really easy. You have to really just get it right there when you're you clicking go. the button, but that was fun. And so I would do that again. I would. I didn't reel really in the gator, but you know, maybe next time. When I was a kid, I grew up in the concrete jungle known as Dallas Fort Worth. Spent most of my life there, and we spent a lot of time just in the city. And my dad uh, sat us down and said, "Are you guys going to get outside?" So he decided right then and there that he was going to make a commitment to me and my brother to go camping all the time. We went camping every single month for seven years as a family, and so. I developed this real love for getting outside, and we're still very, very close, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we went camping so much. What time is it? A weekend is over quickly. Oh, darn. So one outing may not make lifelong campers. We want to leave the poles where they are. We make it easy for folks uh, to come out and try it for the first time. We want to time. make sure that you let it dry out. We try to take the scariness away from camping. And we're just going to drop it in. Thank you very much. I'm going to try one weekend can introduce the simple of the joys of getting outdoors together. They show you how to camp. We're highly satisfied with what the Texas Outdoor Families did for our family. We just try to make sure that the experiences that they have with us and they have the confidence to go out and do on their own again. Uh, the next time I do this, because you know, there will be a next time I enjoyed it that much, I'm going to bring some insect repellent. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, definitely we'll try it again. Definitely. My wife, she's eager to, to be a part of this as well. All right, we got everybody. One, and you gotta look at this. I hope to bring like more people the next time that haven't done it, just so they can experience it. It's nice to do something different and, uh, and have some nice time out with the family and friends. I'm the one who has to put everything away. Everything had a place and now it's basically just like... We'll probably try it again sometime uh, throughout the summer. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I think he'll always have this memory. He's had a great outing. I've been so blessed to get to help connect kids with nature and with their families. That's what it's all about for me. Families had a blast. All the stuff's back in the trailer. It's a good day. So with the last family packed up, Ryan's tent revival heads to its next state park. It, it revitalizes you to get to see all of these families come together in our state parks because that's what these parks are here for. To see a calendar of upcoming workshops near you, visit our website and join the Texas Outdoor Family Congregation.